What's up people, it is Sam here and in today's video we've got both variants of the Pokemon Center ETBs for Scarlet and Violet um, and it's a little different this time because usually with the Pokemon Center ETBs you get the same promo card, however what Pokemon have done now is that they've made this promo card exclusive by adding this little Pokemon Center logo on there so now um it makes these boxes even more worthwhile purchasing now i think per i'm gonna look at it but i'm pretty sure everything in this box that you get you get the exact same thing in the normal etbs now if that's the case then the only difference between this etb and the normal etb is that You've got two more packs in here, which is fine because you're paying the same price anyway in relation to the amount of packs that get scaled up. And the major difference is the promo card. So, dare I say that going forward, let me just have a look that the sleeves are the exact same, but dare I say that going forward, I probably won't be buying any more normal ETBs because it just makes so much more sense to do this. Um, although for you guys, if you guys want to, I don't know, have a, uh, different artworks of your ETBs or your deck boxes, that's fine. Maybe you will buy the normal ETBs, um, but everything else should really be the same. So I'm just going to quickly take these out. So even the books are the same, the, the inside of the sleeves are the same as well. So I've just got my normal ETB here and it's just the exact same. So the outer sleeve is different, which isn't exactly the biggest selling point, I guess. Um, but then when you go inside this and take everything out, you have your two extra packs, which is fine because you've paid extra for that. I'm pretty sure the sleeves are the same as well. So if I get my sleeves from my old ETB, um, and yeah, look, so the sleeves are the same as well. So everything is pretty much the same apart from the promo card. Now, you get two, so you get a normal version and then you get the Pokemon Center exclusive version. So what is the point in buying the old original release date elite trainer boxes when you can just pay a bit extra and you get extra with it which is the two extra packs and an extra promo card both variants of it so you're buying one product and you're getting both variants of the promo cards so this is like a game changer for all pokemon and exclusive products and that's just amazing and everything else in here is the same the deck dividers are the same the basic energy you get the the dice and the coin flip markers are all the same. There's nothing majorly different here. Um, like there's no coin or anything. There's no other massive difference between this. This is just better. It's just a better box because you get more in it and you get two variants of the promo cards as well. There is the code card for you guys um, for that. And I'm gonna just quickly put these to the side and show you the variants for the Crydon as well and it's just the exact same here as well you get you get two extra booster packs so the original ETBs have nine booster packs here you get 11 but you are paying that the sleeves are the exact same there's the code card for you guys for that for the Pokemon and the Elite Trainer Box variant and then you've got your two promo cards again so there's the Pokemon Center version with my Pokemon Center logo and there's the Pokemon Center, well the non-Pokemon Center version that I got in my original ETB so I'm struggling to see the point in buying the old original boxes. Okay guys, so here is my Pokemon Center ETBs, okay? Now here is the original ETBs that I'm about to show you, there you go. So there's original, so let's just put them side by side. So the only difference besides the promo cards is the slight change in artwork um, on the covers. Now, that's just sleeves. Everything else is the same. Um, and then obviously if you put the violet ones together, 
the only difference is basically the covers. Um, the sleeves are the exact same. You know, it, what you get in them is the exact same. You know, except for obviously the Pokemon Center variant, which you do get a, you know, both promo cards. So, and I didn't actually know you got both promo cards. I thought that you could only get the Pokemon Center, well, the non Pokemon Center exclusive promo card from the non Pokemon Center ETB. But if you turn these around, guys, look here. So, um, if you look here, this is the original ETB. Now this ETB says you get all of that in the promo card. However, this ETB says you get all of that in this promo card as well. So this promo card is signifying that you actually get the original promo card. And on top of that, you get the Pokemon Center variant as well. Um, so if you look closely, that card is the major difference here. So you get both cards here. now. That, for me, is a game changer. So, yeah, and if they're going to be doing that all the way, which I'm pretty sure they are, because I've checked out the next set, Paldi Evolved, and yeah, they're doing it the same for that. I'm trying to, I'm struggling to find out why I would buy the original ETBs, because you can get everything you want here, and you get both promo cards as well. Even if you check the prices of both, both promo cards, guys, the original promo card is like, I think the market price is like three to four dollars right now. However, the Pokemon Center promo card is like $20. And it is a Pokemon Center exclusive, so that's exclusive to UK, USA, and Canada. So if you guys are gonna buy an Elite Trainer box, I strongly recommend you buy the Pokemon Center ones. Um, because, yeah, it's just it's just better. And you get both variants of the promo card anyway, so why would you not do that? Um, sa you know, save your money, guys. Um, you know, if you guys can't afford to buy two ETBs, then don't, because this is great. Like, it's, it's amazing that Pokemon have done this. Um, and Scarlet and Violet prices have actually been dropping, and it's a good thing because it's easier to complete a set now, uh, and you don't have to, you know, pay a lot of crazy money just to complete a set. Um, I'm really, really glad the way Scarlet and Violet's going at the moment. For collectors, you know, it seems to be like it's going to be a lot more cheaper now um, to be able to complete a set. That's definitely what I found out when I opened the products here. I mean, go check out my booster box video, guys. Um, I got so many hits from that, so many variants, and that's what's happening all the way across um, the whole of a community as well like a lot of people are getting a lot of hits and finding it easier to complete those sets and It's great because People collectors don't have to spend an arm and a leg just to complete a set anymore um, And well, how that's how it seems anyway. Um, that's how it's almost perceived to be especially from the booster box rates now from my experience, um, if you go check out my other Scarlet and Violet openings, it's only the booster boxes that have actually gave me really good hit rates. Um, all the other products haven't really been great, so it seems that booster boxes have the greatest hit rates. Um, and I think that's been done on purpose as well, um, to give collectors a chance to actually complete these sets, because these sets are huge, um, so it's great. So for example, you could maybe complete a set in like maybe two or three booster boxes, maybe four, if you're really, really lucky, but you'd have to be super, super lucky. Whereas previously you'd have to, I don't know, get like six, seven, eight, I don't know. I, let's put it this way. I opened 15 Vivid Voltage booster boxes and I still didn't complete the set, let alone get the Pikachu. So it's, it's a step in the right direction in the sense that you know, pulls are easier to get. You don't have to necessarily buy as many products to actually complete a set. And that's why we've seen a lot of the prices coming down on a lot of the chase cards. Like you could go online on eBay, wherever, TCG player, and you'll see that prices of a lot of the cards that were initially really high when the set was announced are actually really, really low and affordable now. 
Um, this is a duplicate. I don't really want. I want the Maridon version. I don't want the Coridon version. But um, I guess I'll take it. I suppose I could always trade it for a Maridon EX because that's the full art that I'm missing currently. But yeah, it's 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 been really crazy um, since Scarlet and Violet initially released, and then up to now as well because the prices have just gone crazy down. Um, you know. The Pokemon Center variants have introduced something different. I don't know why they've all only introduced this now and they didn't introduce this Scarlet and Violet stuff for the Sword and Shield era because, okay, I'll take that. Uh, Magnazone EX, I think I need that one. I think I need that one. I, I can't remember. I feel like there was there's a lot more EXs in this set than I initially anticipated. Um... But yeah, I'll, I'll I'll definitely take that. That is a, a hit, and I'm pretty sure I need it. But um, yeah, I don't know why they've only done this whole if you get a Pokemon Center exclusive ETB, um, you get both variants of an ETB with it. Uh, sorry, both variants of a promo card with it. Oh my god, what is going on? I've already pulled this. <laughs> I pulled this in my last video. Um, a Maride on GX. So. I didn't need I wanted the Coridon uh, EX, sorry, not GX. I wanted the Coridon EX, but um, it gave me the Maridon EX for some reason. Um, and I really don't need this card um, because I've already pulled it. But I'll definitely take it, don't get me wrong. But I mean, I guess I could just trade it for a Coridon EX. Um, but wow, I, I wasn't expecting that. Um, but yeah. But it is a bit weird from Pokemon Center's point of view that they've done this and they've been so generous with it because it's almost questioning the existence of the original Elite Trainer Box. Now, why would I buy an original Elite Trainer Box? What's going on? Why am I getting duplicates? What's going on, guys? Why am Why am I getting duplicates? What What is... It, it's a lot. I've li I literally just pulled this as well. I don't need a Slowpoke. Um, I've already got it. I mean, I'm getting hits, don't get me wrong, but... What, what, uh, why am I getting, like, all of my illustration rares, my ultra rares, my hyper rares are, are duplicates? What, what, what's going on? I haven't even opened a lot of Scarlet and Violet and I'm, and I'm getting so many duplicates already. That's crazy. That is so crazy. But, wow, those uh, last four packs were really, really great. Can we, I wonder if we're going to get another one here. No, nothing in this one. But, wow. Um, those last couple of packs actually brought it back from that. Got illustration rare, we got an ultra rare, and we got a hyper rare as well. Wow, that is that is pretty good. Um, that was one ETB as well, so four hits. So as you can see, that's like uh, four out of what was it? Nine packs? Is it nine packs? Eleven packs? I've lost count how many packs there were. Eleven. So four out of eleven. So yeah, maybe like a thirty-three percent, maybe higher hit rate. Not, not um, not fantastic but it's the quality um rather than the quantity i mean i, I pulled a hyper rare um an illustration rare and an ultra rare as well um rather than just normal ex cards so that's it's pretty good anyway we're moving on to the next etb whilst we're continuing to appreciate these pokemon center exclusive etbs and this is why i'm this is why i'm pretty much saying to you guys that if you guys are going to buy an ETB, buy this ETB rather than the original ETB because it just makes so much more sense, guys. Um, you get both the promo cards, Pokemon Center exclusive and the normal ETB. Um, you get more packs and you're not exactly paying anything crazy. You, you're, you're paying retail price pretty much. Um, the price of this box compared to a retail box, I think is like £10 difference. Um, in the UK, uh, the, I think in retail it was 44 and on the Portman Center I think I bought these for like 53 so it's like 9 to 10 pound difference um, and you get two extra booster packs with it and you get a promo card, an extra promo card and both promo cards so it is super super worth it. Now the Sword and Shield era, um, the Portman Center Elite Trainer Boxes, you didn't get an exclusive promo card. You just got the same promo card. So the whole point of purchasing the Pokemon Center Elite Trainer Box was purely for the artwork of the sleeves. Um, and I believe some of them had uh, a coin in, 
like a large coin, but that was it. But for Scarlet and Violet, as you can see, they've done away with the coin and they've basically just gave you an extra promo card, which is way better in my opinion. I mean, don't get me wrong, I like coins, but I, I'm a card collector. I, I would much prefer a promo card rather than a promotional coin. Um, so yeah, you guys definitely need, if you guys want to purchase an ETB, purchase a Pokemon Center one, um, and it's still in stock as well. So just head on over and just go get one. Like, I don't know what the supply is like in general for Pokemon Center products, but I do know from experience, from purchasing exclusive Pokemon Center Elite Trainer boxes, once they're gone, guys, they're gone. Because as I said, they are exclusive. So there is a very limited supply, obviously. More limited, sorry, less limited than um, the normal um, ETBs. Have I already got this? I think I've already got this as well, you know. A Team Star Grunt. I'm pretty sure I've pulled this as well. So at the moment, from these ETBs, I'm pulling a lot of duplicates. And I don't know why. I mean, it's it's an ultra rare, which is great, but why am I getting so many duplicates? It's, it's crazy. It's like Pokemon Center had to send me the two elite trainer boxes that had the hits in that I've already got. I don't I don't get it. This is um it's quite annoying, but um that is that is the thrill of opening Pokemon cards, I guess. But yeah, I'm, I'm getting a lot of duplicates. Here. I think. You know what? I, I think the only one that I haven't got out of what I've pulled so far is the Magnemite EX, which is a bit um, weird. I can't even get this on my hand. There we go. But yeah. Um, so yeah, guys, you guys definitely need to need to need to buy this product. Um, it feels like I've gone through these 11 packs really fast. Another duplicate this time. It's a Maridon EX one that I didn't need, but these double rares do have that little star effect, which is pretty cool to be honest. I, I do like that star effect. So there is the Maridon EX. Okay, last three packs of the opening, um, which has gone by pretty quick. I feel like that I was just talking so much that, um, yeah, it's all gone by. But yeah, guys, like you guys need to get this because you're basically getting two promo cards. You get a Pokemon sent an exclusive promo card. Why would you not? Another duplicate, an Arcanine. We don't need any more Arcanines. I've pulled like four Arcanines now, but I haven't pulled a Gyarados yet, I don't think. Or do you know what? I might have pulled a Gyarados, but I can't remember, but we don't need any more Arcanines. Um, and it is also another duplicate. So I don't think I've pulled anything that is new to my collection in this opening. Um, obviously I got the promo cards, which was the main point of this uh, product. Um, to get the Pokemon Center exclusive promo cards. And obviously show you guys the product and explain why you guys should probably be buying this rather than normal Elite Trainer boxes. Um, I mean, correct me if I'm wrong guys. Let me, you know, let me know if there's something that I might have missed. But from what I can see, you just basically get the exact same as a normal Elite Trainer box, except you get two extra booster packs and uh, extra promo cards. So I got four promo cards from this. I got a Pokemon Center and a non-Pokemon Center version, and I got a Pokemon Center and a non-Pokemon Center version there again. And as I said, these ones, the non-Pokemon Center version, you can get in the original Elite Trainer boxes. But these, they're going for like three, four dollars. You can probably buy that separately if you really want to. Um, if you want more of them. Honestly, it's like super cheap for grading or whatever. These ones are going for like $20 and that's because they're part of this and there is limited supply. So definitely buy this product guys um, because it's way better than the original ETBs. They're actually really, really good and it's awesome what they've done with this. Let's quickly go through the hits. We got seven hits in total. It wasn't it wasn't crazy good, um, but we got an Arcanine EX, Maridon EX, Team Star Grunt, Slowpoke. Maridon EX is probably the the star of a show, I guess, but I've actually got all of these already. You've got Magnazone X, 
We've got a Crydon EX as well. But yeah, guys, hopefully that gives you a bit of an insight in regards to, you know, why you need to buy these products and why they're actually so much better than the Sword and Shield era. Um, because in Sword and Shield, like, you didn't get this. You didn't get new Pokemon Center exclusive cards um a promo card you didn't you didn't get that i hope this video has helped you guys um but yeah that is it from me guys and i hope you did enjoy the video if you did leave a like on the video guys please feel free to subscribe to the channel and get notifications on my future videos guys and as always i'll see you in the next video peace out guys